uh, poverty reduced uh, as a result of trade liberalization, but interestingly, um, not as a result of output trade liberalization, but as a result of input uh, tariff reductions. So it's my, um, there are some negative effects of output uh, tariff liberalization on poverty, but the beneficial poverty reducing effects of input tariff reductions are actually larger, so they are overcompensating. When input tariffs uh, get cut, um, local firms uh, um, get a boost in productivity immediately. Um, and so this local manufacturing growth um, has spillover effects on the regional economies, and we are picking up these spillover effects. So what we see is basically um, um, a re reductions in poverty, but when we are looking at the uh, labor market effects, we see um, increases in uh, workforce participation uh, across uh, for the very low skilled as well as for the middle skilled, not, not that much for the very high skilled. At the same time, we see wage improvements uh, that are differently distributed. So the wage improvements are uh, concentrating rather for, um, for the middle upper skill category, but not for the very high skilled. So it's rather um, lower upper middle skilled. So we don't see wage improvements for, the, uh, for, for, uh, for unskilled people, so without any primary education, but we see wage improvements for people with um, upper junior uh, secondary education, or sorry, senior secondary education. What we are uh, observing is basically outcomes um, for workers who are not working in these firms at all. These are just large-scale manufacturing, middle large-scale manufacturing firms. Um, we are observing also workers who are working outside of large firms are working in the informal sector are potentially self-employed. And so it couldn't be that this direct effect uh, uh, comes through this, uh, um, them being employed at those firms. Rather, what we are seeing is basically spillover effects to the local economy. So especially when we see that uh, um, low-skilled um, workers, so people without any education, any, any completed uh, education, not even completed primary education, their workforce participation increases. Um, it could be coming from the services sector, it could be just local demand that's getting generated uh, due to um, local development. So basically, in input tariff um, liberalization is not only related to improvements in um, manufacturing efficiency, but it's also related to improvements in ver workforce participation or increases in workforce participation uh, for the very low skilled unto, uh, up to the middle skilled. So there, uh, it's unclear what types of jobs are being created. So in, in that sense, it's a bit of a micro or regional type of analysis. We do, we do not know exactly um, what is the... Um, complexity of occupations that uh, these people uh, uh, are in, but uh, we see that they are, there is more occupation than, uh, or there is, um, tariff reductions are related to an increase in workforce uh, participation as well as an increase in, um, so not only participation, but also in, in just being in an actual job.